So I just finished a live interview with San Antonio NBC News about what you can do to protect yourself from the coronavirus, how to strengthen your immune system simply with supermarket foods, and how to deal with stress so that you're not raising your inflammation levels from the stress you're dealing with, but instead finding ways to find peace and distraction uh, and have some fun even while we're social distancing. I hope you like it. New tonight, she's a doctor who used foods to recover from lupus and is also a specialist in autoimmune disease. Dr. Brooke Goldner is now using her expertise to share what you can do if you have underlying health conditions, which is considered high risk for contracting the coronavirus. Joining us by telephone tonight is Dr. Goldner. Doctor, thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? Absolutely. You're coming in fine. Great. All right. So let's talk about some of the practices to help deal with this virus, especially if you have some underlying condition. Well, the most important thing any of us can do right now is prevent ourselves from getting sick. When we're in a pandemic situation, it means we have a virus that's spreading quickly that we have no immunity to and no treatment for. So the best thing all of us can do is not get it and not pass it on. So that's whether you have an underlying condition or not. Uh, So really honoring social distancing and making sure that people are really not leaving their homes. I'm seeing people at house parties. I'm seeing people out and about. We really need to stay home. And the people that do have underlying autoimmune disease, they should not be the ones going to the grocery store. I really think you should rely now on home delivery. Um, You want to avoid any unnecessary doctor's visits or visits at all. Um, This is going to be the time where you really protect yourself and rely on others uh, to help you out as much as possible. And then, of course, you want to also nourish yourself well, too. Well, I have a quick question. It's a personal question. My daughter underwent major surgery just last month. So a month later, is she considered immune deficient in some way? Is her immune system back up and running? And is it safe for her to be out and about? Well, that really depends on what condition she had and what kind of surgery she had. So really right now, I would say it is not safe for anybody to be out and about. We all have to act as if we have chronic disease right now, because even if you're not the person that's going to get severe lung disease or or need to be hospitalized, you could pass it to somebody who does without knowing it. Mm-hmm. So uh, without knowing more about your daughter, I'm not sure. But what I do know, what I specialize in is how to get your immune system as strong as possible, as quickly as possible at home using supermarket foods that we can all be as resistant as possible to the infection and heal quickly if we get it. All right. So what are some of those foods? And here's a quick question. We've all heard of emergency, uh, things that are, are really super high in vitamin C. Those are the best ones to use. What do you recommend? So what I have found most effective in helping people reverse autoimmune disease, but also optimize their own immunity. A lot of people come to me to get rid of rheumatoid arthritis or lupus, find that, hey, if I get a cold or flu, it lasts 24 hours instead of lasting for a week or two. It's because you actually absorb vitamins better from food than you do from pills. And actually, you absorb what your body needs rather than potentially overdosing on things. So I recommend people go right to the source. And people don't like to do that because the source of vitamins and minerals is vegetables. And people don't always want to eat their vegetables. But you want to focus on the most powerful vegetables for getting not only vitamin C, but all the other nutrients that you need. Mm -hmm. Uh, So you want to look at leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables. So kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, those are powerhouses of nutrition that have more vitamins and minerals per ounce than if you mm-hmm. try to eat fruit all day long. And so last I checked really at the grocery store, food. there's plenty of that left. Nobody wants broccoli. Right. Okay. All right. Last question. <laughs> uh, how do we manage stress quickly? We only have a few seconds left, but we are super anxious society right now. Is there anything we can do? Absolutely. So what you want to do is you want to make a game plan for the things that are in your control, like what you eat, whether or not you can reach out to people through uh, the media or through Zoom or phone calls, getting enough sleep. Those are things we have the power to control right now. And the things that are out of our hands, we have to let that go and instead fill our day with things that make us feel good. So I'm encouraging people, get a new hobby, learn to paint or knit or sew, uh, start a TikTok channel, but let's do things that are fun so that we can take our mind off of the stress while we still do the things we need to do, like the social distancing and eating your vegetables. 
All right, I have a feeling lots of babies are going to be born in about nine months. All right, doctor, thank you so yeah. much. If you're interested in reaching out to uh, Dr. Goldner, uh, there's all the information for her. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Valuable information, doctor.